problem 7, chapter 9. Problem 7 asks to calculate the internal rate of return. We have the initial investment of um, 34000 and then the cash flows for the next three years. And uh, the required rate of the required rate is 16 percent and the problem asks if the firm should accept the following project so the internal rate of return is the interest rate that makes the NPV of the project equal to zero so the equation that defines the internal rate of return would be as follows zero, your NPV, the net present value, equals your initial investment, which is 34,000. And remember that we always put initial investment with the minus because it's a cash outflow. It's the amount of money that the company spends, gives away on a project, so it's, um, it's negative. So we put minus 34,000 plus the cash flow for the first year, 16,000, um, 16, divided by 1 plus internal rate of return, then plus cash flow for the second year, divided by 1 plus your internal rate of return to the second power and plus 15,000 which is the cash flow for the third year divided by 1 plus internal rate of return to the third power. So using um, a spreadsheet financial calculator or trial and error we find, we solve this equation and we find that the initial rate, the internal rate of return equals 20.9, a little over 20 percent. Now since the internal rate of return is greater than the required return, in this case we would accept the project the required return is 16 percent so we accept the pro we accept each project that's going to give us internal rate of return is greater than 16 percent uh, now for the problems with the internal rate of return um, there are two major ways to solve them, either using spreadsheet like Excel or using the financial calculator. Okay. For the financial calculator, all you do, you're just going to put the inputs for the initial cash flow, which is going to be SF0. That's going to be minus 34 thousand then the input for your cash flow for the year one is sixteen thousand uh, year two eighteen thousand and then cash flow for year three is fifteen thousand and then you calculate the internal rate of return which is which gonna give you the answer of twenty thousand um, I'm sorry the answer of twenty percent twenty point nine seven percent Problem 9, Chapter 9. In Problem 9, we're going to calculate net present value and internal rate of return. A project that provides... Problem 5, Chapter 9. Problem 5 asks to calculate discounted payback. An initial project cost is 15000 and has annual cash flows of 4,300 for six years. 
What is the discounted payback period if the discounted rate is zero? If the discounted rate is 5% and 19%? And so first we're going to start with the discounted rate of 0%. So what we're going to do, uh, we have equal cash flows for all years, so it's 4300 for six years. The investment, the initial investment is 15000 So we know that the um, discounted payback period will be somewhere between three and four years. So we're going to take three years plus whatever we're missing divided by 4300 that gives us 3.49 years So we're just using the given cash flow of 4300 because the discounted rate is 0%. So the present value would be the same as the actual cash flow. Now the next question is discounted rate 5%. So here we have to discount each cash flow back at 5%. So we're going to do 4300. Again, we're using the uh, present value formula. So we're going to have um, the sum of all of the ca discounted cash flows for in this case three years so this is the present value of the first year cash flow then we're going to add 4300 divided by 1.05 to the second power that's the present value of the second ca year cash flow plus 4300 divided by 1.05 to the third power. So that gives us 11,709.97 cents. And then the we do the same thing for the fourth year. That gives us three thousand five thirty seven sixty two cents. So the discounted payback period for this problem is three years because after three years we recover a little over eleven thousand, but we still not uh, at our initial investment. So we're going to take three years plus 15,000, that's the initial investment, minus 11,709.97, that's what we recover after the first three years, divided by the present value of the cash flow in year 4 so this gives us 3.93 years so it's almost 4 years but not exactly and we follow the same procedure for the discounted rate of 
So with the interest rate of 19%, if we do the same calculations, if we calculate the present values of all of the cash flow for the six years, and um, the easiest way to do it is actually using the financial calculator. So once we find out that uh, the present value of all um, 4,300 uh, for six years, we're going to find that that number is 1466204. And our initial investment is 15,000. So we actually never recover the initial investment if the interest rate is 19%. So the higher the, the the higher the discounted rate is, the the, um, the more years you need to recover the project. And if the initial investment is too high, then there are cases like this one when you actually never recover your initial investment. 